Now I will give the floor to Mrs. Tuli Axon from the United Republic of Tanzania. Ms. Tulia, please. My name is Tulia Axon. I'm the Speaker of the National Assembly of Tanzania. I am a lawyer, an advocate, and I have a PhD in law. I served, I served as the Deputy Attorney General of the United Republic of Tanzania at the age of 38, and I also became Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly of Tanzania at the same age, and until last week, I was the president of the Africa Geopolitical Group in the IPU. I'm humbled by the endorsements made in support of my candidature from the East African community, the Southern African Development Community, and the African Union. Colleagues and friends, I'm acutely aware of the weight of responsibilities of the office and multiple challenges that the world is facing today, ranging from the effects of climate change, interstate conflicts, poverty, and the threats of peace and security that have wide-ranging ramifications for developed and developing countries alike. I am confident, however, that if I'll be elected as president, I will have you, colleagues, to work together with in shouldering these responsibilities. From the time I became one of the leaders of IPU, I have had the opportunity to collaborate with you to realize IPU's shared values of peace, justice, tolerance, respect, and solidarity. My participation in IPU meetings and other activities has given me a deep and clear understanding of its vision, mission, and the role it plays in the world. As, as the immediate past president of the Africa Geopolitical Group in the IPU, I'm proud of our, our contribution towards achieving the objectives of the IPU, especially in addressing the challenges facing the world with a view of ensuring sustainable development. The knowledge and experience I have gained over the years has elevated my leadership skills to the next level. This has given me the urge to vie for the top leadership of our institution. It is with deep sense of humility that I stand before you to request for your total trust and support for my candidature for the position of President of IPU. Colleagues and friends, my vision is to work with all member parliaments of the IPU to align our organization with the fast changing realities of our world. In that regard, if elected, I will have a number of priorities that, I'll be I, that I believe will be key in making our organization work effectively for its membership. Transparency and accountability will therefore be, be at the forefront of my leadership in this dynamic world, IPU must be relevant to its membership and the world in general. We will therefore work with its members to initiate reforms that will contribute to peaceful coexistence and global prosperity. In realizing this vision, it is necessary to ensure effective participation and representation of all geopolitical groups in the organs of the IPU. It will therefore be critical that we undertake regular consultations within and between geopolitical groups. Dear colleagues and friends, 
Dear colleagues and friends, no organization can be efficient and relevant if it is not inclusive in its work and structure. If I become IP, IPU president, I will champion equitable representation in national parliaments with a particular focus on women, youth, and other marginalized groups. <laughs> Agendas such as artificial intelligence and its uh, and its impact on democracy, human rights, and good governance will be given appropriate attention in our discussions. Overall, my leadership will work tirelessly to contribute towards a more inclusive, sustainable, and peaceful world. IPU has objectives and values that are shared with other global and regional institutions. Hence, my duty shall be to strengthen the IPU's cooperation with the United Nations, regional interparliamentary organizations, and other key stakeholders. <laughs> Dear colleagues and friends, in leading this organization, I shall always be guided by the decisions and resolutions of the IPU. Implementation of these will be an important tool to ensure that IPU attains its objectives and stays on course as envisioned by its members. This, thus, ensuring effective Madam implementation Speaker, of our strategic uh, plan of 2022 to 2026, which seeks to make sure that the IPU is more inclusive and our national parliament as well. Ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, as I conclude, it is also important to make sure that our finances are in good hands and we take care of our finances in the sense that the IPU has to always be at the forefront into looking into the finances of the contributors and making sure our money is always safe. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you,